Honorable Member for Livingstone McLeod. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It is my pleasure to rise in response to honors the Lieutenant Governor's throne speech. Like many of us, I am new to this place and this role. And for those of you who have not had the pleasure to meet yet, my name is Roger Reed. Today, I am humbled, proud, and grateful to stand in this legislature as a new elected member for Livingston McLeod. This is a tremendous honour, and I will strive to represent my constituents in a way that is respectful and that honours them for the next four years. This is the opportunity of a lifetime to represent my friends, my family, and my neighbours from a constituency that truly represents the hard-working prairie spirit that Albertans are known for. Livingston McLeod is home to a vast, amazingly diverse geography, people, and industries. It has a fantastic array of geography, stretching from the heights of the Rocky Mountains to the grasslands of the prairies. My constituency is nestled in this very southwest corner of the province, bordering both our provincial neighbour, British Columbia, to the west, and our international neighbour, the United States, to the south. It encompasses part of Alberta's foothills and the Porcupine Hills, and of course, Alberta's native grasslands. I would certainly be remiss to not honour our First Peoples, so I would like to give special mention to both the Pecani people from the south of my riding and the Stony Nakota people in the north end. The First Peoples in what, who live in what is now known as Livingston McLeod, um, because of their great contributions to the West, cannot be ignored because we have great uh, Great sites like our own UNESCO World Heritage Site, Head Smashed in Buffalo Jump, where the history, culture, and stories of our First Nations are shared with visitors from across Alberta and around the world. And just as these nations have been an important part of our past, I'm excited to be part of a government that will also work to include them to be an important part of our future as we share in the prosperity of this great province with our First Nation people. With the recent riding redistribution, Living Miss, Livington Miss Cloud has gained Waterton, a town and pristine national park along the northern end of the American border, and the town of High River and the communities around it. To the people of Waterton and High River, I'd like to say welcome to Livingston McLeod. I hope that I will be able to represent you as well as your previous representatives have in the past. Livingston McLeod is home to people just as amazing as its geography. My constituents are incredibly hardworking, and embody the entrepreneurial spirit that we as a society praise so greatly. Farming and ranching are classic Alberta industries and they play an important role in my constituency's economy. But they are not the only crucial industries. For my constituents, they are involved in commerce, tourism, resource development, forestry and film. They all play crucial roles, providing well-paying jobs for the thousands of hard-working constituents so they can provide for themselves and their families. Like many in Livingston McLeod, my family has been living in this fantastic area of our province that we call home for over 110 years. My, ha my family has been living in the area and I'm now the fifth generation to be raised there. And much like all of our neighbours in the riding, we grew up as stewards of the land, hardworking farmers and ranchers, constantly looking for ways to improve the ways we care for our land that has brought us prosperity to our families for generations. The hardworking people of Livingston McLeod, like my parents and grandparents, are always looking for ways to improve our homes, our businesses, and our livelihoods to provide for our families. And it's that very innovative spirit that brings me great joy to call myself a resident of Livingston McLeod. Of course, I can't ignore my own hometown, the beautiful town of Clairsome. I am not the first MLA from Clairsome, nor will I be the last. But of course, like every single people, person in this legislature, I will strive to represent my constituents the best that I can. This may be a difficult task, though, considering the prestige of some of my pre predecessors who have hailed from the communities of Livingston McLeod, including William Moffat, who was the first resident and mayor of Clairson, who served in the third, in the third legislature. In 1917, he was defeated by another Clairson resident, the Honorable Louise McKinney, a member of Canada's own famous five and more importantly, the first woman elected to a legislature in the British Empire. They, they would all be succeeded by William Aberhart from High River, who was his province's seventh premier. And just as impressively from Little Bow, Mr. Ray Speaker, who served in this very chamber and served federally for 34 years and never was defeated in election. 
And as a side note, I up to share his desk with him. I have some big shoes to fill, but I can safely say that I'm extremely excited to get to work to grow into these shoes. In the coming weeks, we all face late nights, long hours, and more than a, last, and more than a few last-minute house duty trades as we work to fulfill our constituents' wishes in this legislature. With that in mind, I'd like to tell the House what my constituents are hoping to see me accomplish over the next four years. First of all, we must create a well-thought-out plan for stewardship of our land. As Conservatives, we are Conservative by nature. The people of Livingston Cloud live where they live because of our backyard, which, in this case, is the beautiful countryside of our province. For us, this countryside acts as a source of recreation, sustenance, and prosperity. We need to ensure this access for future generations so that they can continue to explore and enjoy the way previous generations have. We must become world leaders in this regard to preserve the landscape and access for all future generations. However, we, can, we can't do that at the expense of the province's economy. As a small business owner myself, I know that we must ensure economic benefit and success for small businesses in our rural communities of my constituency for it to remain as prosperous as it has been. We must develop and grow the economy in order to provide opportunities for our youth, both today and tomorrow, so they can gain critical skills in that very important first job, and so that they can later create more opportunities in the very communities where they've been raised. Innovation and diversity in our agricultural industry and business is essential for this. And as we move further into the digital age, so as making sure that every rural community has access to high-speed internet so that rural Albertans can continue to keep up with our urban neighbours. Lastly, rural areas such as Livingston McLeod are wonderfully attractive for retiring, Albertas, for retiring Albertans. After all, who doesn't like the quiet, idyllic country life? In fact, it's been said, all the cars are in the city, but all the good parking is in the country. <laughs> With this, though, we must also work to ensure that our seniors have access to the great health care in those urban areas they had access great access to the great health care in those urban areas that they have access to, with the same opportunities for long-term palliative and hospice care that our urban neighbors enjoy. They need to, the need to maintain and adapt our health care system is vital to ensuring that we can maintain our rural health care systems and adapt to changing times as, as it is crucial for helping our seniors as they enjoy their well-earned retirement. Last but not least, the people of Livingston McLeod have some concerns related to some of our available infrastructure. And what we need is to upgrade and modernize in the coming years. Our schools must be modernized in order to equip rural students for the coming needs of the digital age and the hurdles they will face as they grow up in this new era. Just as importantly, we must follow through on the proposals to do things like twin Highway 3 in order to improve, improve both road safety and, and economics in the area. I am glad that the government is committed to working with all municipalities to create predictable and sustainable funding for these events to happen. Mr. Speaker, I thank you for your time, and just as I'd like to thank my constituents for their overwhelming support in this past election, just as importantly, I would like to thank my wife, Darlene, and my children, Elizabeth, Aaron, and Allison, for their constant support and backing as I've taken on this difficult journey. I would not be here today without them, just as I would not be here without the trust and hard work of my neighbours in Livingston McLeod. There is no better place in this world than my constituency, and I will always be grateful to be from such a fantastic area of our beautiful province. Thank you.